So let's uh, open it the series thing to Wednesday at a 30 Psalm chapter 10. Psalm chapter 10. And uh, we'll talk about the two April to Rome to enter into who chapter on it. Um, so for uh, this reason, Basante, Basit, verse 1, it will be taking Basante to give us uh, light and uh, a glimpse of one IT Cargano, it is some chapter 10. As I try to look at the verse 1. Halos makita tayo tira sa mga ating anay surat ito verse chapter 10 ngayon ito. Okay, basahan tayo ito verse 1. Ready go? Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Ang katawa tayo numalagip tayo ito istorya, kakaroon niya basama kung niya ni Elijah when he had a battle and confrontation with the prophet of Baal, the Mount Carmel. And uh, the first thing that he presented to the altar was the mouth of the Lord that he used to have the prophet of Baal. And we have learned that uh, almost throughout the day they were shouting there and uh, I wanted to respond to Dios and when he said Iksaan niya pa ito, baka agbaspasar niya po niyo sa iyo. Pinigpiksaan na kiti propeta ni Baal. Awan na ta, yung kuna ni Elijah. Pigpiksaan niyo, baka hanangan lang yun. Baka nakapsot nila pa yun na. O baka na dyan si Yarek, si Yarek iso na. To the point nga, napanda niya extreme nga, they already made a point nga, mahalad at ti... But good, good, and then the bagida, and yet there is no fire that nothing na gibilani. Katawan tayo ni situation na diyan, no? Yati na pasama kung yung agubat, iti adi pa niti apu, kung nagiti propeta ite jablo. And as we try nga kita nandito iti some chapter ten, here is a reality ng mabaling na sumbatan tayo, kung may atmat ng kita nandito iti situation ti bakit? Because there will come itan na at that time, the situation na kasla na gijay propeta ni Baal na even though how much we cry and how much we beg for the Lord and how much we pray to the Lord, it seems the Lord got He is so far. And anya, iti kasla. Doon niya po niya iti kasla nga dayo. Kasla na gijay propeta ni Baal at they've been praying throughout the day niya. Kasla nga awan iti Diyos. Napintas na ito yun nga pagkutungan tayo. Because there are many situations and occasions that are not yet there, ma, kasi ti mga pasama, it is a reality. Na it seems the Lord is so far. So nga there are many people who made songs that represents ni mga kasal bibuya lang niya po di si ngato, and another familiar song na naaram kung from a distance God is watching us. Mga kasal bibuya lang niya po di si from a distance. Those songs are. A song is a positive frustration in the town and the reality of life. Na there are many situations di pa nagbiak tayo where in those desperate na situations tayo we cry to the Lord and yet it seems the Lord is so far. And how should we deal with in a situation? And that is the reason why chapter ten cut my sweat and the head iti ulo iti adalan tayo tapat is this unattended and forsaken. Ada di tawagan juga dia ya, ada di telefon ini, PLDT telefon orang orang itu yang bosu itu ya, cellphone and when you try tawagan di masing-masing apa lagi, telefon number and awan, or probably pagi ringda pelan, kerana the number you dial is unattended, already cell phone still unattended. Masa tu yang udah duma, kar karun yang penting kita emergency di bagam kat awan. Iba baba ada lang, ada tender or ihanda ng sumsumbat, ihanda ng mga masak tayo. And the same feeling nga, ure ka dati nga nakiti Diyos, the same feeling nga, nga rip natay nga, when it comes to the Lord, makasar tayo kiniapin yung sunod ng duma, when it seems the Lord is just watching us, nga hanang nga, hanang nga, hanang nga, hanang nga, even the man of the God's own heart, that they could be, rip na na. And it is a good thing, Dito ito presyara ka niya ni David. He was so brutally honest ni Apolis. He was a brutally frank ni Apolis. 
Tapos na igurot na ito yung province. Nga no, niya tirikrik na na ipagana kanya po Diyos and han, haan nga mabutang iso na nga express na ito nga kasla nung matipasam siguro yung iba ibang katkasla nga demoralizing iti part niya po nung haan. Ibagbaga na lang tirik na na kanya po Diyos na tiis sa wales nga haan nga isulto nung ibaga na lang tiyem anes nga panangkita na kanya po Diyos di sitwasyon na niya. And what would you do when it seems the Lord has unattended iti concern mo iti biyaga or probably Seemingly, kas lang nga imbati na ka. Although we know nga ha, but num, there are times that we are tempted and uh, the devil would put it in mind na the Lord has unattended iti imbati na ka iti situation mo. And the Lord has forsaken iti situation mo. And sometimes we cry. And we are so frustrated and discouraged iti situation na kasi. How should we confront iti kasi nga case? Because not all seasons iti Christian life could mayat. There are seasons of laughter, there are seasons of pain, there are seasons of reward. You reap the faithfulness mo, ay gulgunan niya po di ay, but there are seasons also where it seems God is so far. How will you confront it in a season if you be able? Let David teach us, Lucas at Lucas and Andrade. Well, the uh, first thing that he did is this. He identifies... the source of his frustration and he present it to God. That's the first thing that he did. He went to the Lord. He identified it. He was so honest. Can you produce? Kita nyo verse 1. Apa yang tak-tak berkalang dita apu? Nga po'y buyanak. Apu Diyos. Apa yang aglam-lamang ka iti cimpu ti kaparasak? Pas lang yung ano, ada dagay da dumang atawa. Ano yan, ada tama nun, dumawat, ikros mo tiruangan. <laughs> Lord, tatang ka sa pulang ka, apay, kas lang nga naatap ka. Apay nga dayo ka. Lord, apay. And uh, even though he was called the man after God's own heart, nga iti panangkita tayo siguro ni David, kat he was a warrior in the faith. Adam at the breaking point na where he comes to a point na question na na the presence ni Apo. The omniscience can only presence ni Ah, uh, Here is a reality na makita tayo kanya na nga Lord, madagdag sa na nakakasla ka aday ko kanya. And kasla ka, ilum, kasla na na ilum lumangan. Lord, uh, I am really frustrated. And mapangkat in verse 2, he presented the source of his frustration. Lord Kastiman, iti rason mo apa yung uh, madis-dis may akot ha. Je verse 2, makita tayo iti unjust harassment dag iti pubri. Kita ang dag iti pubri. Mabaling nga iti sitwasyon dito kat he was being ridiculed by people or probably dag iti sitwasyon nga gugulugi iso na nga bang, bang bangunan ni Apo Diyos kat ano dag iti paras nga mga dadadal ka niya na he was not yet a king dito. And yet kung nata yung uh, ne. Kuna ni, kuna ni David, Lord, isn't it Lord nga you are just? Apay nga ba'y ba'y na kami lang nga napubri nga nga agsagsagaba? And try to look at the video nagdarapas iso na pa'y tiyo masasinso. Apay nga palpalubos mo rin yan, hangko nga matig apo na ito eh. Apay maragragsakan ka din nga mangbuibuya ka uh, apo niyo sa iti anak mo nga parparigatan na. Lord, hangko matig na ito. Nagsin, agrugi nga kuko si Tiriklak. Then, mapangkaj verse 3, he presented iti ko natin nga the unjudge boastfulness and pride of the of the wicked. Nakita mo tapo ti kinalaslas to da. Kaya pangkaj verse 3, nukas at nung kapangas iti puso da. Nukas at nung kaagong iti puso da. Kagungura mo ti jay ko na maapun. Apay nga kas lang ha, boy bem lang iso da. Lord, dispensar mo na maa. Kas lang nga nagdagsan tirik na kang panunutan. Apay nga dayo ka, han mo nga kumun iso da. Siya ka nga bibiyag iti nasaya. Siya nga agbibiyag nga napagpakumbaba iti isang kwa na nalitin ng bibiyag para kanya siya pa ilang iti mabaybayan. Apo Diyos, at pagpakasyak man ka ni Apo. Apo nga kasi. And uh, pang talo, he, he third iti mang frustrate kanya na kap jay, jay unjudged wickedness of their tongue. Uh, uray pa itingi what the, when you look at jay verse uh, verse 7 in Ghana 8 and 9 
He was talking about iti panang lulunun da, panang alali da, panang lukluko da, panang ibaba da, da giti na baba. Panang usad da tidila da, iti kalupan, kan ka kina, 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 kina rumit nga, awan ti kapapanan na. And iti verse 8, in picture na rito, they were like, they were like people who are setting, they are just like an army setting an ambush. Iti iti mapan iti village, nga 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 they will set an ambush. Lord, kasi ita na namin yun na kanya. And in secret, I thought they were my friend. I thought they were reliable people. They were close friends. I thought nga mapagtalkan na kanya. Lord, dadadala na kumat gaya ma. And in verse 9, he lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. Just like a traitor with a lion. He would just jump off in it. Yeah, that would give me long view. The treacherous nga ugali iti liyo and kung natin awan iti liyo niya biglang magbang na biglang nga lumag to the liyo and he would just he would just destroy me he would tear me apart dadaril na natin biyag mo awan pulos kaya asin na kanya and Lord ay kitang kumaksipta apay nga bibuyahan ni Jai apay hapo Diyos nga kasya ham mo nga pulos nga sulbaro na ito Siya pa lang ako nga napuno, nagiging anak mo nga matalang, iso pa lang ang timapad pa. As Lord, I am really frustrated. I've been praying for a long time with this situation, and yet you are not answering it. Kararag mo yan ako. Lord, forgive me. Wala tayo nga kasi yung diriknak ng mga ako. I would just like to identify you. Nga niya di magpulak diriknak, and I would like to present it to you, Lord. Nga niya, wala tayo nga kasi yan. And in times ng pagsukat, it's not seen to be honest with the Lord with the feelings. Even this man, it seems kasla nga yung kasla nga insulto na ito isang wana ni Diyos. Siguro, no, ada di may pagbaga na ito nga kada, hamoy pagbaga ka ni Apolis na ito, hamoy pagbaga na ito nga ni Apolis. Nung kitaan nga ito nga David, kat he was so frank with isang wana ni Diyos. Lord, forgive me if my mouth is just so honest when it's not with you. Because I'm not going to be able to do it. I would just like to lay out what is in my heart. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. It is causing me to question our police. I am tempted to question the wisdom that you have forsaken your people. And I hate to think about it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Secondly, verse 12 here, we could see... He cried and begged for God's attention. So makita tayo di verse 12. Arise, O Lord. Lord. He was seeking for attention. Dispensara ma po. Agpapansinak basit ka niya. Apo Diyos, agpapansinak basit ka niya. Maudawat akman ka niya po. Kita ang kaditi sitwasyon ko. Kita ang kaditi sitwasyon. Kaditi anak mo. Apo Diyos, agpapakasya ka di nga. Anak kami kadi nga lipipatan, tada kami mo titi, da kami mo titi anak mo kung tatao. And you have promised nga itakder mo dagi ti humble. So iko na na di verse one. Forget not the humble. Referring word is it that you have said the humble you will lift them up and the proud you will break them. Lord, look at them. Dapat isulat na griglingat. Da kami tada sa sinusutip yat. Lord, at this situation, I would like to remind you what you have said and ti concern ti puso. Di ba, Lord, you are so close, dagi ti humble. Lord, isn't it you have said in your word that you hate the arrogant, the proud? Lord, at this moment in time, Lord, at papansinak man ba siya, kita man ba siya, attention ko. Lord, dumagdawa takti pa ng takdor mo, kadi kanya ka. That you will keep your word, that you are close to that, to those who are humble, iti, iti sa man. And mapangkay verse 13, Wherefore that the wicked contemn God or contemn God, he had said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. He reminded God his righteous promise, promises. Lord, have you forgotten? Hamat nga takas na ito yun. Lord, in remind na lang, Lord, I would like to claim the promise na naitintad mo. That you will vindicate your people. That you will defend your people, O Lord. Lord, you have said something to your people. 
Eh, kahit ko lang apo Diyos. Amo ka amom ga ito. Hinam, kahit ko apo, tak-tak drak di jay kain ka rin. Eh, kahit ko lang ay palagip pa ng kanya, mga apo Diyos. Tak drak lang tadi nga sitwasyon na karing uri na niya. Timang mangyari kanya. But Lord, this moment and time, let me not question that promise ko itin mo kanya concerning iti pa ng iba. Nung mo tiyanak mo kung tataong. Lord, at this moment and time, I feel unattended iti presence mo. I feel forsaken kanya. Lord, let me not to be... be Fall, iti ko na nga panakatinan, iti panakadaraal, iti panagribili, tirik na kanya. Lord, ang pagpagasyak. So, makita mo ni verse 14, Thou was seen it, nakita mo na po this, For thou beholdest the mischief and in spite, To requite it with thy hand, the poor committed himself unto you, Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Lord, depart it, it promise you, Lord. The weak people, the poor and the fatherless, Lord, you will protect them. You will be their father and Lord at this moment in time. I would like to remind you, Lord. I would like to tell you from my mouth, Lord. I would like to publicly tell you, Lord. I cling to those promises. Ano pa mga kanya verse 15? Makita rito yung verse 15. Ang gana ti 18. Break thou the arm, Lord. Tukul ang mantigi ba da? Nagsin nga kararag niya niya, brother Aris. Kasla. Apay, gusto ba niya nga kararag, pastor? Concerning na gito yung tataong, na gito yung mga manggulgura ka natin. Lord, may galis na ko mo. May tublak na ko mo. Halos kasi ti picture ka ka nang iba ganit na mi. Lord, may slide that in at this moment in time. Lord, to kulang man ti ima na. Tapos nagtal na dati as kastada. He was not only praying for his personal vindication. Nung makita yung titi 15, 16, verse 17, makikita tayo. He prayed this vindication not only for himself but for the reputation of God. Lord, apa yung palubos mo nga at katawahan na tiyanak mo ang astoy? Apa yung kayat mo nga kasti lang tiyapang naibagbaga na nagitita tao kag nagitanak mo? Lord, madanagan ako titistim mo niya. Lord, I will ask for vindication. Not only for myself, but above all, apo, itinagan mo tukul ang tiyo para ako Diyos. And sometimes, ada na gina doon mga kararag at it is only a personal anger na rumlumara. Here is a prayer that doesn't It is a plea for vindication, but that vindication is more concerned with reputation. Ni apu isong adunga dawat iti panang ibalas. Lord, magbananaga, madanaga na nakatkatawan dati dayo mo. The King, the Lord is King forever and ever, and the heathen are perished out of His land. And how can these people realize the day we buy and the apu nga ni? Mamati kini Apo Diyos ng hanot ng may takdor ti Diyos na. Mamati ti Ari. Ada ka nun ni Apo Diyos na iso ti kangatuan ni Ari. Pinaibayan mo ti Ari na iso na. Lord, anya nga yung atistimunya ni nga katkatawan na tinagan. Lord, for this reason, I ask for vindication. Tukulong ti Imada. Para ti Daya. Wala nga para kanya kapo. Para kanya mga Apo Diyos. Tariputas nung mo ti Astrid dito eh. Lord, The TG17 in spite, the TG makita tayo last. Despite of the negative situation mo, still trust the Lord. That's the last point. Lord, I know thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart, thou will cause him to fear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. What's this point? The TG makita tayo nga. Lord, we still trust the Lord. Hangko amun ay nyatikas na magtatrabaho. Ano maamun kung magtatrabaho ka? I would just like to open what is in my heart. Naibagak man na ito'y kanyang nga taragagay ko. But Lord, may your will be done. There is still submission na mati plan. At adati sa bali nga plan. Nga may mayat. Kung medyo sa bali man. Nga opposite, jay kasla yung kararag ko. Who am I, Lord? Who am I to complain? If you intend that I will experience na adayo ka, then so be it. I will be humble before you. I will submit to your 
divine kingship and plan and sovereign plans. And if you intend glory, that I will be forsaken, I will be put to shame. Who am I to complain? May your will be done. May your will be done. If that is what will please you, Lord, so be it. Malagi pa ni Karara ni Mesak Shanta Kabirdigo. Di ko na dang hanggang nagpalintumang ni Stichut. And kung nangyari, kasi pa'y matulungan na kanita, produsyon nga nita, pa'y bulong ko na kayo niyapugod, mamati kami, the Lord will be with us. Nga maapuari ang atiba ka niya. And if the Lord, nga mga niyapu Diyos, katanda kami nga salbaran, iti pa na kayo bulong nita po, we will still trust in Him. We know, ay tulungan na kami ni Apoyos. Ngam! No sabari, tikas pa nga yung plano na. If we intended nga matay kami dito yung mabura, we will still trust Him. That is how we face the seasons. It is yet day where God seems God has unattended our concern. And God is so far Yes, God has never forsaken, and God will never forsake His children. Nang nagpintas, nukasap nung ang kasta ni David nga nagsaw. He was brutally honest, this is one of the news. He was so close, as if he's the best friend of the news. As if he's istorya na lang nakababoy na niya po Diyos. And here could you see the closeness, the kababahan ni Diyos ang mga imbaba na tibagina. Ngayon naksiptan natin kararag ni David. Ha, ngayon insultukan niya na di ay. He knows. And he desires and he was so glad. David was so honest to entrust him all his concerns. Uri nagi concerns ng kasla nga. Kada tayo nabasbasan ito, kasta insulto nung kiniapok at nung. Ha, nang ka na insulto. Yaman ang tayo bagay ang bidyay. So, nagliging pang tagad din ang chapter 10. When seasons, you went out of the gym po, you are praying for something. The expectation mo, the projects mo kat nagkibaltang. Di nam namaham kat kibaltang. Di work mo kat kibaltang. Di giyay plans mo kat kibaltang. And you've been praying and it seems the Lord is a fire. You pray always, but it seems ti sumbat da na nam ti sumbat niya ako kat the number you die is unattended. Go back to chapter ten, Psalms, and let chapter ten, Psalm, ti Psalms, could teach you how to confront this season. Okay, so do what today, sister. Lovely, the closest city prayer to the thing that we Let's pray. Lord, Lord, truly, the glory is all yours, Father. Mm -hmm. And as we've seen in this chapter, uh, David was so honest to the Father he knows will deliver him. Whether by death or by life, he believed that, uh, Lord, you will do as you have will. And Father, because he knows that your plans are better than his. Mm -hmm. And Father, how so gracious you are that you listen to this um, house of clay, Father. Mm -hmm. This Lord, your children who are in, still in this body, Father, you have delivered us. How very great you are that indeed you have loved us before eternity. Father, you have called us. And mm -hmm. I think, Father, we believe that that is enough reason for us to go on in spite of everything life is giving us. Father, mm -hmm. may you be the only reason for everything that we are doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.